Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fintelligent Investor Series by Rupai Financial Services. I am CA Pratiksha Pai. And I am CA Sanket Naik. And today we are going to talk about what are those 10 situations in which your ITR filing is mandatory. So the most basic and common reason to file ITR is of course when your income exceeds the basic exemption limit. So what is this basic exemption limit? It is the limit beyond which you need to file your ITR. Okay. So this limit is two and a half lakh rupees per annum for an individual aged below 60 years, three lakhs for an individual aged uh, in the range of 60 to 80 and five lakhs for an individual above the age of 80. So this basic exemption limit should be considered before you uh, do all your deductions and exemptions that is your uh, exemptions that uh, are related to capital gains that fall under section 54 and the deductions under chapter 6a which is deductions uh, related to section 80 which is 80c to 80u so before you do this deductions and exemptions itself what is the total income that you have earned in that year and based on your age you get to know your exemption limit and if you are exceeding that exemption limit then it becomes mandatory for you to file your ITR. Also please note that this uh, rule is applicable to both residents as well as non-residents. So the second situation wherein you would mandatory need to file your ITR and this particular clause is applicable only for resident and ordinary residents. So in case such people hold any foreign assets including any financial interest in any foreign entity or are signing authorities in any foreign account or are beneficiaries for any foreign assets. In such cases such people also have to file their ITR irrespective of their level of income. Even if the income is zero they still need to file the ITR. So the third situation in which you have to mandatorily file your ITR is when you have an electricity consumption above rupees 1 lakh for the entire year. So they've not mentioned whether it is the personal electricity uh, consumption or official or whatever it is. So totally, if you show that you have uh, an uh, electricity consumption above 1 lakh, if you have in your name electricity bills that is uh, totally more than 1 lakh in that year, then you have to mandatorily file your ITR for that year. So the next situation where you may need to file your ITR mandatorily is in case you spend two in excess of 2 lakhs for foreign travel either for yourself or for any other person. This could be either a single amount exceeding 2 lakhs or a combination of multiple items but adding up to more than 2 lakhs. So here one has to keep in mind they are not only referring to you or your relative it could be any person. So the next situation where ITR filing becomes mandatory is wherein if there are deposits like either a single deposit or multiple deposits which total more than 1 crore in a current account in one or more current account of yours that you have opened with the bank any uh, banking company or cooperative bank. So here the thing to be seen is first of all they have not mentioned whether it is cash deposits or bank transfers so aggregate all in all any kind of deposits in your current account okay uh, secondly they have not uh, they have mentioned it uh, specifically saying that it is current account so uh, I think if there are deposits uh, in your savings bank then uh, this clause will not uh, apply to that scenario because this clause specifically says that total deposits of more than 1 crore in one or more current accounts that you have maintained with the bank. So if there are uh, deposits more than 1 crore in a savings bank account then this clause uh, will not apply to you. Also even if it is cash or bank uh, deposits still if its aggregate is more than 1 crore and the aggregate should be across current accounts in one particular bank as per what the clause reads it says current accounts maintained in a banking company in a banking company so if you have current accounts in more than one uh, bank then again this clause of more than one crore will not apply to you thirdly they just said that uh, deposits 
they have not told whether it is income from business or income from any other heads or whatever that is so it is any and every deposit in a current account so uh, fi uh, finally what uh, i want to say is this uh, situation where the IT itr filing is mandatory is when you have deposits any kind of deposits uh, totaling more than 1 crore across current accounts in a bank if that happens then even if your basic exemption limit of your uh, actual income a portion does not exceed the basic exemption limit even then you have to uh, file your itr uh, just one thing that you need to keep in mind for this uh, clause is that if you have current accounts in more than one bank for example then per bank you have to see whether the aggregate deposits will cross 1 crore and per bank even if one bank in that aggregate uh, uh, exceeds 1 crore then you have to mandatorily file so now uh, we know that uh, this clause applies to current bank accounts but what about savings bank accounts so someone can easily use that as a loophole so no there is some clause for that as well so if the total uh, deposits in your savings bank account exceeds rupees uh, 50 lakhs then you have to mandatorily file your itr now in current uh, bank account clause they've told that one or more uh, current uh, bank accounts with with a banking company which means per bank all the current accounts that you have uh, if per bank it uh, exceeds 1 crore then uh, you have to mandatorily file your itr however in uh, the case of savings bank account they say that across one or more savings bank so it is not per bank so say if you have savings bank accounts in uh, 10 different banks and uh, you have uh, 10 to 11 lakhs uh, deposits in each bank then all put together all savings bank uh, deposits put together uh, if it crosses 50 lakhs then you have to mandatorily file your uh, itr also again uh, same like that uh, clause it doesn't tell if it is cash deposit or bank transfer or whatever it is it just says all savings bank account that you have all put together if the deposits are uh, exceeding rupees 50 lakhs then you have to mandatorily file your itr in that case so the next situation where you need to compulsorily file your itr is where your turnover exceeds 60 lakhs this could be turnover gross receipts or your sales any of these crosses 60 lakh irrespective of your income levels you have to mandatory file your itr so sanket mentioned about business receipts crossing uh, 60 lakhs in the same way uh, if your professional receipts in any year crosses uh, 10 lakhs then uh, you have to mandatorily file itr for that particular year the next situation where you need to mandatory file your itr is in case the totals of tds and tcs crosses 25000 in the previous year so in respect of whether you want to claim a refund or not or whether it is adjusted against your taxes it doesn't matter if your tds or tcs crosses 25000 in respect of your income levels you have to file your itr however for senior citizens who are residents they have relaxed this clause and said instead of 25000 50000 will be applicable so if you are a non senior citizen then it is 25000 and if you are a resident senior citizen then it is 50000 so these are all the situations in which you have to mandatorily file your itr even if you uh, qualify even one of these situations then you have to uh, definitely file your itr in this season so one should keep in mind there is only one clause here which refers to income levels all the other clauses have various conditions prescribed so in other than that clause every other clause you have to make irrespective of your income levels If you satisfy those conditions, you have to file the ITR. So uh, we are putting this video today because, uh, anyways, after twenty second, twenty third July itself, everyone will start going to their CAs uh, to start filing their taxes. So hopefully, you'll watch this video and it will be helpful to you. If you have any more uh, clarifications or something, then please let us know in the comments. We'll try our best to. Uh, answer all of so those clarifications and if any clarification requires a separate video we would be pretty happy to even do that thank you everyone thank you